You know, one time I had a conversation with a friend who talked about people created as layered cakes, which cracked me up because she was talking about her husband who she felt was pretty simple in life. And so she said he was like a two layered layer cake. <laughs> she didn't mean it in a mean way, but it used to crack me up. So what we're, we're gonna talk about today is the layering of our souls. And so you ever experienced this as a woman is like, you're made up of so many layers. There's the layers of the roles that we have. There's the layers of the way that we show up to our own internal experience and journey. There's the layers of experience that we have, the wisdom that we glean. There's all these layers, right? And so maybe you're a woman who knows that you're made up of all of these layers and you're not quite sure how to tap into all of them. And despite being very, very successful and super bright, like you totally know what's going on, you're really capable. This is an area where you're like just not really sure about it yet. And you want to be able to harness it because right now you feel really disconnected from your purpose. Like you're doing the things and you're walking through the motion, but you're sort of like just on the treadmill of life and you're not really feeling connected to it at all. If any of that sounds good to you, then hi, my name is Jen. I'm the founder and owner of Laughing Lotus Wellness. I'm a transformational purpose coach and expert. And what I do is work with women who are on that corporate journey or in their business ownership, that entrepreneurial journey, and they are really feeling completely disconnected. And what we do first thing is get clarity around how you got here and where you want to go. And I support you doing that using my unique coaching methodology, which is really a combination of all of my favorite healing certifications based by the foundation of a 20 year clinical practice. I actually think it's 21 years. I can't even track it anymore. So I've been in, in that field for a really long time. And so I combine all of that to support women and figuring out how they can find purpose again, that you can be successful and purposeful, that they don't have to be in separate lanes, they can be in the same lane. And sometimes the lane that you're in is no longer serving you and we need to make a lane change. So what we do is work together to get clear about what you need to do to reconnect with that fire again, to rise into who you are meant to be and the legacy you're meant to leave. Okay, we're gonna follow this layered cake. And we're gonna get to the layered cake. I love that that story came to me as I was as I was getting ready to talk to all of you. I was like, what is that? That's right, there was that story about layered cakes. So I want you to imagine last time I, ch I checked in with you in the vlog, I was talking about the layers of who we are and the way that we're designed, which is that we're created up of kind of, I like using it as a visual aid in my mind. It's like we're made up of layers like a layer cake. And I often joke in my coaching and my things that I teach that it's really the tapping into those where the money is. That it's, it's that it's all the things we layer up in terms of our healing modality. So when I do one thing, I'm, I'm pretty good. If I do two, I'm pretty darn good. If I'm doing three and four and five things together, I'm gonna get the biggest bang for my buck, which makes complete sense, yeah? Like if I'm gonna add in all these extra energetic and spiritual tools, these mental and emotional tools, I'm gonna feel better, right? This is why I saw my office for 21 years. People who were actively working and doing multiple things at one time, like therapy or coaching with meditation, yoga, movement, eating well, they were substantially more successful in getting where they wanted to go in a shorter amount of time. Their healing process was shorter because they were doing so many things to like insulate themselves, if you will. So I want us to imagine that's really powerful. One, we are made up of layers. I talked about that last time. You can go catch that. We're made up of layers. We also heal in layers. Okay. And so that's where I say using all those tools and layers also really powerful. So I wanted to kind of get your mind in that space of seeing and imagining that you were made up of so many layers, roles, there's layers to who you are. You probably share more or less of yourself with certain people in certain situations, right? That's the layering of who we are, okay? And so, and like, what does it mean and how does it show up? We need to understand that that's the parts that we want to address is all the layers, not one, not two, but all. And I want you to think about the layers of this. When I started my coaching business years ago, it cracks me up, but this is where I started because like we all have to start somewhere, oh my word. So I wanted to have people assess, how are you doing in your vitality? How are you doing in your relationship? How are you doing in your career and purpose? How are you doing in your spirituality? How are you doing in your community? Um, meditation, oh, there's like 10 things, so many things. I'm forgetting some of them because I'm not looking at it, it was so long ago. And so I was even then without knowing I was doing it, looking at the layers of the way that we're made because those are layers of how you show up 
their layers of experience. So I have a relationship with money. I have a relationship with my job. I have a relationship with my partner. I have a relationship with my spirituality. I have a relationship with food. You want, I wanted people to look at a comprehensive sense of what they're made up of. So I was even doing it then intuitively without realizing I was going to hone it, hone it, hone it, and then land somewhere quite different, but it's still important. And I'm still talking about it with clients that way. I just do it a little bit more specifically, right? Okay. Wanted to think about that. And then what I really want you to think about is identifying your tools for addressing those layers. So one of the things we're going to do today, we're going to do a little bit of an exercise, which I don't do all the time, but I do love them. And so I'm not going to stand up because I'll be way back there. I want you to be able to hear me. So I'm going to walk you through. It's super easy. We're going to do a state change. <laughs> love me some state change. So I want you to do me a solid. Before we start this, I want you to take a couple of breaths right where you're seated or standing or wherever you're doing. Take a couple of breaths and just release that nice and slow. I want you to take a moment to just witness how you're showing up today. Give yourself a scale of zero to 10. Zero is not good at all. 10 is I am rocking it at life. And give yourself a scale, just kind of assess, like I'm gonna witness without any judgment, with no meanness, we're not inviting in criticism here. How am I showing up today? How are you showing up? Put your number in the, in the comments for me. Where did you start? We're gonna do it again, so just give me a second. Where did you start? Where did you land? So first thing out the gate, rate that. Where am I? Ding, ding, ding. I feel like I should be getting the journal. The, what is that? What does that show you guys? Jeopardy journey. Yes, Jennifer, it's the 80s rock band. Jeopardy. Okay, so anyway, so you got your you got your witnessing that okay, the number. We've got it, we've got a little rating scale going on. Awesome. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call do something called the breath of joy. Big fan of state change. State change just means we move from one sense of where we are energetically to another state energetically, okay? It can be an emotion. It could be um, a physical experience, like a sensation, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Standing up, I'm going to have you stand up wherever you are. You're going to stand up, nice tall spine, feet rooted. This is a little bit of yogi in me. Boy, it's been a minute. Whew. Okay, got to shake out the yogi in me. I forget. Okay, and what we're going to do is called the breath of joy. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring your arms up in front. So I'm going to teach you first, then we're going to do a couple. So you're going to inhale, you inhale up, inhale, inhale, and you're going to bend all the way forward and let those arms drop down and shake it out. Okay, okay, inhaling in, inhale in, inhale in. Okay, so all we need is sip, inhale, sip. Inhale, sip, inhale. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna do a few together now. Ready? Are you ready? So we're gonna do them together. Okay, here we go. Shake it out. Here we go. Ready? Inhale in. Okay, now pause, standing back up. I'm gonna get my hair on my face. I'm like weaving, do you see me? I want you to rate yourself again. Do you feel differently than you did three minutes ago, four minutes ago? If you're like, oh, Jen, you know what? That was good, but it'd be even better. We're gonna get off soon. I want you to do some more of them, okay? So be a little careful, because if, you, if you're right, you can get a little dizzy. But this is the breath of joy because you're taking these beautiful sips in, in nice big inhales and then ah, releasing it. You can either do it on just a sigh. You can use some sound. It's really healing. Sometimes if you've had a really bad day, if you can be by yourself and just be like, ah, like let it out, right? Like release everything into the floor. Super huge power, energetic exchange and release. Trust me. But I wanted to teach something that was super active and like movement and vitality related rather than always I'm so like med med like going in and doing meditation and stillness and quiet. Sometimes our energy needs to be bigger than that and needs to be expansive and we need to find a way to quickly state change. This was one of them. Again, this is called the breath of joy. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit of something. I wanted to kind of bring another state change experience into our journey and time this month because I felt like it was 
is so important because this month of Awaken was about absolute wisdom and awareness of the keys experience to experiencing your natural energy. So we wanted you, I wanted you to learn how to really tap into that energetic expression, the internal parts, the external parts, all of the parts and the layers of who you are. That's the work I actually do. I don't talk about it much. And I got to this month and I was like, I really don't know that I've talked much about this. this is how I do a lot of my coaching. So if I had a client that was feeling really like distressed or we need a state change, and they were feeling like they needed some juice, I would do something like Breath of Joy with them right in the beginning of our journey. I'd probably bring them into some meditation, just kind of get them rooted, and then I would have them do the Breath of Joy, and I would do it with them. And we would just go through, right? Up, out, up, down, right? All right. Ah, right? I would have them do that, engage their bodies, get the breath and energy moving through the body. And there is something that is profoundly different from one minute to the next just by doing something like this. The breath is so crucial in this journey as well. And so I want to be really, really clear that another piece of that energetic shifting can happen really beautifully with the breath. And we can control it depending on if we want it to help revitalize or relax us. So those are kind of like the two states, not that there aren't states in between, but there's kind of two areas that I really love to work with people in to teach them how to balance out where they are. So if I'm having a rough day and I'm feeling really low, I'm kind of depressed, I might need to revitalize. If I'm feeling kind of anxious, I want to bring a breath and use something that's going to be really related to that internal relaxation state of my body and telling my body that all is well. And so those are some things that I love to teach my coaching clients because they're just like, they're writing, your breath is with you all the time. It, literally, go use the restroom at work for two minutes, do a breath exercise and feel different. It's magic. And so that's why I love encouraging people to have these experiences. And so today you got to try on the breath of joy. What, what, you're welcome. I hope you have a state change. Put it in the comments. Where were you? And then where were you? Where was I when I started? Where was I when we ended? Share the date. If you're willing to share those rating scales with me, I would love to hear about that experience. Did something happen for you just by doing a little bit of breath work, right? I mean, just like that, were you able to kind of shift a little bit? And I'm not saying you were like five points different, but were you different? Did you feel a little more vital? Did you feel a little more awake? Did you feel a little more jazzed up, right? In a good way. So amazing. Okay. All you do is go to laughinglotuswellness.com. And then you're going to check out my website and there'll be the Rise Collective. And that is the name of my membership and click on that button. I have a little video. I tell you about what we do. I need to get some quotes so people can tell you themselves about what they're experiencing in there so you all can know. But I do want you to know that that is a space where we do and practice quite a bit of this kind of thing in terms of my coaching and using meditation, etc. So that's kind of what it is. But it's really all held together by the glue of meditation and energy work and the things that we want to do to grow ourselves. And it's a really beautiful collection of women men who have come together to do that kind of purpose work together in the same space as they rise. So I'd love to have you join us again. That's laughinglotuswellness.com. You can go right to Rise Collective, check it out, read about it, listen in, and then ask any questions if you have them. But otherwise, I would love to share space with you in that collective, continuing to do things like this that are helping you grow and rise. So until next time, my friends, blessings, love, and light. This is Jen supporting you on your path to rise to your purpose.